Yeah, that thing about cutting off power in the middle of a heat wave when you got that many people living in, in, in an area as condensed as that one is a big concern for an awful lot of people. Uh, this has been a house with RVs on it, a couple of dozen that have been the source of anger for a lot of people who live in the neighborhood. And today, that corner, the power was cut off. All the residents are outside. They're not, they're not happy about this recent turn of events. That's what it looked like to Stu Mundell up in Sky Fox. And there was anger and frustration on the ground at that corner house that has, to the dismay of neighbors, been housing the unhoused in RVs. People need power for it's hot. A resident in the middle of the street claims DWP cut off the power to the property. Why? City Council pay like that? Are you going to cut the power? Kirk Cabrera Miller is the president of the Silmar Neighborhood Council. I know that this, ha this house, this address has had um, a long history of violations with Department of Building Safety and that they've had, I, I guess right now, about 26 RVs in the back property and they have a lot of issues with sewage overflowing. The story has been the focus of stories here on Fox 11. It's an issue neighbors feel has gone on too long. But why? I think it because it goes to the judicial system. It's a case Miller says goes back to 2010. He says a lien was put on the property in 2016 in that case. And since then, there's been 41 violations and open and closed cases for the Department of um, Building and Safety on this property. Miller's hope is that all of those who have been living here get appropriate housing. And once that's taken care of, they hope that the biohazards that the people in the RVs have left behind are cleaned up as well. But the number one thing is to stop the biohazard, right? And then also treat everybody with respect and dignity because, you know, we don't want anybody to go from this situation into a homeless situation even further. You heard him talk about those 41 violations tomorrow. There is a hearing, a pre-trial hearing, to, to sort of talk about all of that and see where this case goes. As for now, the city council member for this district, Monica Rodriguez, has been unavailable for comment. We've tried throughout the day to get some kind of a comment from her. We'll, we're still waiting.